When you take the absolute value of a number, let's say we wanted the absolute value of negative 2, what you give is just the number part without the sign, and it's always a positive value. So the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is 2. So you're just getting the number. It's always going to be positive. So you basically ignore any negative signs when you take the absolute value. So in this question, when it says find all numbers whose absolute value is 2, well, that's going to be 2 and negative 2, just as we saw up there. This next problem asks, find all numbers whose absolute value is negative 3. And this should look fishy to you. Absolute value always gives a positive answer. So the absolute value of something can't be a negative value. It can't be negative 3. So in this case, there's nothing whose absolute value is negative 3. So that is a little bit of work with absolute value.